What's happening, PGC family? Jason Wells here, and today we're going to talk about how to get buckets when you're the screener in a ball screen. I was having a conversation with one of my friends. His name is John Lucas. He's the assistant coach for the Houston Rockets, and we were talking specifically about Clint Capella. He was telling me how the game has evolved. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, all ball screens, the screener was rolling to the basket. That's how we got the term pick and roll. And then the game evolved to guys that could shoot the basketball, and then we got the term pick and pop. He was telling me with Clint's development, and I'm really eager to see this year how well he shoots the ball, they want Clint to do three things. They want him to quickly roll out of a screen, they want him to be able to catch a lob out of the screen, and they now want to be able to have him shoot out of those things. So those are the three things that we're going to focus on. Fans have a coffee shop and a crayon to thank <laughs> for this. So Lopez and Middleton. Not a lot of minutes early for Adenokumbo. Lopez. The Rockets have scored 69. We're going to talk about a couple of different ways that you can roll out and get to the basket. The first one, if we have Coach B-Cap right here, Coach Tyler's guarding me. If I'm the screener going over into a screen, Marky comes off the traditional way and the way most of us were taught. Marky comes off my left shoulder. I open up my left shoulder to be able to go catch that pass and go score. All right, that's the high school and college level. Again, I'm coming here into my screen. Coach comes off. As I initiate contact, I'm opening up off that shoulder to be able to go finish at the basket. Some of those wrists has made him better. Obviously, he's in a rhythm tonight. Long finish. Long finish. At higher levels, and this was introduced by Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire. Steve thought that that open roll took too long. And so what he did was he told Amari, as he came off and had contact or obstruction on this screen, instead of opening this way, he wanted Amari to open up here because it was quicker and he could throw the ball to the rim. And I'm sure you guys all remember how many highlights Amari Stoudemire has hanging on the rim because of this screen and roll. Now let's talk pick and pop. We all know how the game has changed and how the game has evolved. Now these guys setting screens become shooters now. So as I go set this wing screen for Coach Markey, Coach B-Cap goes over the top, Tyler drags, and now I pop, and my ability to be able to knock down this shot is just another added value to my game. Patience is part of deception. So your ability to be able to be patient enough to see what your defender does is a separator in your game. So now as I'm going into this screen, I'm peeking to see, Tyler drags, great hook pass from Coach Markey, and now I'm into my shot with too long of a closeout from Coach Tyler. For this Mystic team. Well, and Holly, I think a lot of that has to do with her IQ. I mean, she has had 23 assists. Now we're going back to a row. Coach Tyler is threatened by the shot because of the pick and pop, and now we're going to work on what we call a stretch roll. Same action here. I'm going into it. Screen here. I pop just as Coach Markey drags the D, and now I roll to the basket. Great pocket pass. Great finish. So that's what we call a stretch roll. You'll pop just a little bit, freeze. Your ball handler will stretch the defense. Then you dive hard to the basket. Hey, if this video helped you, make sure that you subscribe to our page, hit the like button below, and you can always catch us at pgcbasketball.com. I'm Jason Wells. Let's get it.